I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is our Arcade 1-Up. Where we review the Centipede Arcade Game. By Barefoot Gaming. You missed us. Alright, let's start by talking about building this mofo. It comes flat pack, right? Like an Ikea box. Yes. Uh, so it has the, the panels that need to be put together. The screws are all lab labeled by letter, pretty much. There's just picture instructions and you can go from there. And it is pretty straightforward. Yeah. We ran into one or two hitches where we didn't realize we had to pull a cable before we closed an yes. area off. Yeah. It did show it. It's just, it's not fantastic at showing a couple of little things but yes. all together we got it assembled uh built quality it's half inch not three quarter like a regular arcade machine the tv is an lcd i believe it is 17 inches across overall the picture is good the marquee lights up on this one and unlike the old one yeah and because this is a newer style one-up machine they also have a fake plastic coin door which i really like not I... only do they have fake plastic coin door they have a protector for you for your art so that your hands don't scrape it off as you're which, playing with the buttons which was another issue with the earlier one-up cabinets because yes. you would actually wear the artwork right off yes as you played it so it's just plexiglass or plastic i'm gonna say yeah with holes so let's talk about that the quality of the buttons. The buttons seemed really good. They've got a nice soft sound. They're not overly clacky. The rolling spinner. Uh, uh, spinner is fine. The roller ball, on the other hand, had some grit in it at first, and I didn't even notice it until Rob mentioned it. So the buttons are not Sanwa. They are kind of like regular, like Hap buttons kind of they've yep. got that look and style to them yeah they've got that nice finger indentation yeah so they don't have the click uh, although they are micro switch based yep. uh they don't they don't have the same click yep. uh but the trackball is a totally different quality and you can get used to it yeah this is home based it's just it's not particularly smooth the more yep. you use it the better it got the spinner uh again was fine yeah so this thing comes with 14 games yes a variation of some of the old classics as well as some of the not as well known, yeah, I'm sure for- I, I hadn't played a couple of these ones. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the size because for me, this is a little bit of an elephant in the room. Yes. Now it's- A small elephant. It's not really trying to fool you with the photos. And if you have one of these, or if you've stood up to one, you know exactly what you're getting. It is, they call it a three quarter size arcade. Yep. It's kind of got odd proportions because if it, you take is it, it- Is it three quarters of the height maybe? Maybe. If you take it off the riser, it looks like a little centipede arcade machine. Yes. The proportions are actually not too shabby. As soon as you put it on the riser, everything looks elongated. Yeah, stretched. So it looks a little wonky that way. I get why they did it and they had to modify it because... With with the box on it, with the pedestal on, it's in between sitting in a chair and standing up. It is a kind of weird height. You take it off the box, it's an even weirder height. It, it's A chair is too high and kneeling on the ground is too low. Now, yes. we are just... I'm six foot one. Louis, I think you're a little, little taller than six one. Just a little. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we are too tall to make this comfortable. Yep. Because you can see photos where they show people either leaning in, yep. standing back, and really leaning in, yep. or it looks like a little bit of camera trickery. Because I was honestly a little bit surprised yep. after it was built that it only came up to here. Yep. Something else I'm going to talk about because of that is I think this LCD screen is, and you guys, some of you guys that like these are going to hate me for this i think it's really bad quality the blacks are very very poor and you can improve it by bending down and getting more in line with it yes. that will yep. help but the blacks are still going to be very very yep. washed out yeah so let's talk emulation i am no stranger to mame and i'm not going to list them all off because i don't want to get into legal trouble i don't know exactly what mm -hmm. but obviously i've played a lot with emulators and roms and i i think the game does a relatively faithful adaptation. So far as to yep. say, I don't think most people will notice any differences, at least with the games that, that are loaded onto this yes. system. Yep. I'm also gonna mention the fact that you can see screws on the side. It didn't bother me, I don't know. Nope, looking at it a second time, I thought, hey, why didn't they include little plastic caps for that? But 
but I'm okay it's, with it. It's for a home unit, it's not professional, that's fine. Obviously, they're restricted on how large a flat pack box that they can use. Yep. So there's also sometimes weird seams, like on the side and the front, there is an actual seam on the cabinet before yep. it even drops into the riser. Yep. So Louis, pros, cons, this thing goes for I think 450 bucks US, 650 Canadian? Ish. Yeah. yeah. I, I like the way it went together. Rob and I built it together. Uh, as a two-person build, it went fine. Rob was saying that there was some things that weren't really clearly marked, like, hey, make sure this gets done before you move on the step. That was for the speaker wire and the lights for the marquee. Yeah. We left those up top. We had to take a bunch of pieces off to get at them to, to bring it back down, which was annoying because we were in a bit of a time crunch. It, it was annoying, plus it can be a little bit tricky to line up the top and the bottom when you're dealing with, uh, there's some panel board in there. Yeah, and they're, they're grooved. We had to loosen off some screws and just, we didn't want to take the whole thing apart again. And, and if you're not careful when you put it in the groove, you'll actually peel back the outer layer yes and you which, will see rough wood which you do not want so there's yeah, that fear that, that happened on one side and we managed to just kind of bend it back and flip it up into place build it slow build it right as a cheap home arcade as an entry level arcade if they don't have a bunch of pinballs or arcades already in their basement stop judging lo me. looking at somebody here <laughs> stop judging it, me. it doesn't stand out in that situation but as a first buy as the only one in your house hundred percent i would say get yourself one start the addiction early and then ride it out into full-blown machines after that this won't stand up to the full-blown machines but it's a nice early start for that pros cons what do you think i think this thing should have been taller I don't care how they would have done it, I think it should have been taller so that people that are around six feet yep. don't have to stand back from it and lean forward yes. to make this work. It, you're not gonna wanna play for very long. If you get like a stool or something, I guess mm -hmm. that will help. Whatever, keep the width the same. Just make two risers in height, I think would already make a bit of a difference. Yep. It surprised me how narrow the marquee was on the top. Is what it is. I, I think you could never build this at this quality for this price. No. Yes, it looks like it is half inch. It doesn't have T molding around the edges. It is a simple, well emulated arcade machine yep. if you want to play some of the old stuff. But yep. you better like some of the games that are on here. Like, if it's just kind of nostalgia for having an arcade, and you haven't played Centipede in a long time, yep. maybe it didn't age as well as you think. Those are all things you need to yep. keep in mind. And of the 14 games, for me, only about four of them actually really grabbed me. And again, yep. I grew up in arcades. Yep. Maybe a little later than this, but but still, like I can still have fun with Lunar Lander, right? And, and Asteroids yep. is fun. Yeah. I hadn't played, uh, what was the bear one that I'd never played I don't even before. remember the bear it one. A, it was a bear game. I'd never played it before. I would play it again. <laughs> but would you buy the, the cabinet the, for the bear game? Well, no, just play yours. <laughs> Come on, Rob. And yeah. that is it. That is it for our arcade one-up centipede. S something, I don't, I don't know what you want from me, man. I don't know what else we can call it. If you have any questions about this, leave them down below. We will do our best to get back to you. We're back. You missed us. And we will talk to you again really, really soon. See ya. Bye.